Well, our next guest has raced at <coughs> incredible speeds on two wheels. He's been a superbike pro, so now, I guess even hitting top speeds on his push, he must feel a little bit sedate. It's a welcome to Shannon Johnson. G'day there. Hey guys, how are you? Welcome, mate. Classic Saturn return syndrome. People tend to change um, careers at around the age of 30, and you did that in a big way, didn't you? Yeah, I suppose you probably meant to go the other way, though, make it easier on your body, but uh, no, it's a challenge that uh, I've taken up and I'm really enjoying. You race superbikes, what, what sort of top speeds did you regularly hit? Uh, Phillip Island is obviously the circuit where we hit the highest top speed and it's a bit over 300 kilometres an hour, so oh. it's, uh, the track's pretty narrow at that speed. How do you even see things at that speed? How, how quickly do you come up on corners? It's, Tenths of seconds. You just acclimatise to it, it's just normal. It's, uh, it becomes Very natural. Very quick. I, I reckon you'd have to memorise the circuit, wouldn't you? Just shut your eyes. Yeah, you can just about, you know memorise the, the yeah. circuit and the braking points and that sort of thing, but uh, you know, it's just, it becomes your job. And this looks yeah. like a more leisurely way to get around a racetrack. What are you guys doing here? Well, I'm just about to beat the guy on the right there. Very and, nice. Uh, win the Phillip Island Grand Prix. <laughs> 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 That's not 317 k's an hour though, is no, it? No, that was only 73. So, so your That's ability worth. to handle a motorbike at um, those speeds must have helped you with your descending. Do you find you're a better yeah, descender? Yeah, it definitely does because I, I climb like a house brick swims. <laughs> so I need to make up as much time as I can descending. But, uh, you know, it also helps with, uh, with the criterion racing as well. You know, I don't touch the brakes going into or through the turns. So I save my legs a little bit there as well. So, That's mate, fine. do you now race with the, with the team? Or? Yeah, I race with the Charter Mason Dray Pack uh, development team. It's uh, quite funny that I'm in a development team at the age that I am, but uh, you know I didn't really start cycling until I was 30. So it's, uh, right. And is that in the National Road Series? Yeah, yeah, I did the National Road Series for the first time in 2011. Uh, I had a couple of, well, I had a couple of really good stages, a few podiums, and uh, but then I broke my collarbone, so that sort of put me out for a little bit. Uh, but this year. Things are, are turning around and I'm getting a lot stronger and quite a bit faster actually. So what other types of aerobic training do you do when you're a super bike rider? Uh, I used to do a lot of mountain bike riding. Uh, the road cycle, I just got really bored so I didn't really do it that much. Uh, gym, swimming, running, uh, a, lot, a lot of motocross riding. It's the best way to keep ride fit because it's the only way you can stress the forearms and fatigue the body the same as what you do on the motorcycle. I know a lot of motorsport guys always try and keep really fit. Do you get the same rush though out of a push bike race as you do at a super bike race? For sure, on the last lap, you know, when the bell's yeah. going and, you know, it's it's every bit as exciting as, as when you're riding a motorcycle at 300 kilometres an hour. So uh, I think that that's, that's why I'm enjoying it so much. So what's your training consisting of now? Predominantly riding to and from work and uh, racing the lights. And I do stop at the red lights, so I don't mean running through them, but uh, <laughs> no, it's just, uh, you know, with being a, a husband and a father, I've got other life commitments. So the, the cycling is secondary, so I have to keep that in check. But uh, at the same time, I'm super competitive, so I don't like it when I lose. So I make sure that, you know, I do as much as I can. Uh, to, to be able to win on Saturday and Sunday. Hard to race when you're in the doghouse with the wifey, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Any inspiration off Troy Bayless? He's done similar sort of uh, career changes as you? Yeah, for sure. Troy's a hero of just about every Australian motorcyclist. So, uh, you know, three world championships and that sort of thing. And he's actually started motorcycling quite late in his career. But I think if he wanted to, he probably could have been a professional cyclist, uh, as you'd probably attest to. But, you know, he's pretty handy on a bicycle. Fantastic yeah. stuff. Um, I was going to ask, um, uh, it's just astonishing that you were able to leap from one career to another. Did you have a bit of a base from cycling from a long time or were you just a physical freak? No, I've I kind of had the the background of always training pretty hard. I spent a few training camps at the AOS in Canberra and that yeah. sort of thing with the motorcycling. Uh, most of it was mountain biking. It was only in the last two years that I was racing road bikes that I sort of got interested in the road cycle. But, um, you well, know... I, sorry, sorry to jump in. Yeah. What's your biggest... Didn't you ride the Sun Tour last year? Yeah, How'd I did. You ride that with? I rode that with Total Rush, and uh, and also rode the Bay Crits. It was a baptism of fire. Yeah, you know, it'd be in, a big one for you. Yeah, December, I was I was going really well, and you know, pretty much out sprinting anyone in the country, and uh, so I thought, oh, you know, I'll, I'll be okay. But I'm still learning this whole cycling thing, and coming from a motorcycle background, you know, the motorcycle takes care of the power all the time, so you can be peaking all year long. But uh, for me, you know, on the cycling, you have to be able to learn to 
listened to the body and, yeah. and I crashed and burned. Now, so you're been not a little revving yeah, the oh motorbike on the, on the handlebars there. No, no. <laughs> what about when easier. you do some motorbike pacing? The guy that's actually on the motorbike must be thinking, oh, God, I've got to make this look good. <laughs> <laughs> I do actually have a guy like that. Right. <laughs> um, tell you, I, I tell you what, one thing I do know about you, I've got my driver's licence with my motorbike licence. You don't have one of those, no, motorbike racing I've man. got a learner's permit, <laughs> but uh, that's about it. You're not safe it. on the roads. No, too no, fast. no. So on my little safe Vespa, I could kick your ass. Yeah. This is great stuff. I could hold your wheel up to about 75. Okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fair comeback. Nice work. All right, mate. Lovely to chat to you. Congratulations on uh, on the career so far. And, and also, actually, still sort of dabbling back a little bit more with the motorbikes and doing some testing work and reviewing. Yeah, doing a magazine test uh, with Australian Motorcycle News and also doing some uh, some coaching for the younger guys with Champions Ride Days. So Great stuff. Yeah, I enjoy it. Back enjoy it. All right, nice to meet you. Stick around too. We need some help with the rollers coming out yeah, in just perfect. a sec. And, mate, I've got a little parting gift oh, for nice. you from... The team of the moment, Green cool. Edge. Yeah, awesome. Thanks for coming Excellent. in. Nah, thank you. Good on you, mate. Thanks, Thanks for that.